Like the block was there, but just fell a little bit short. Whittingham back to serve again. Just gets over, hence for Gray. Far side for Plummer. And Plummer gets her first kill of the night. She was so impressive in the two games over the last weekend with 20 kills against Colorado and then finished that up with 19 against Utah in a sweep. And Plummer will go back to serve here. Near left corner, the 6'6 righty. Lines up. Gets a good one down here. Wally will set for SC and they go straight up the middle with Ruddins. Oh. That little slot to Ruddins is going to be tough to block. Samuel's going to have to figure this out quickly. So if I were the Trojans, I would set that every play. Pizza Gola and one other player check in for the Trojans. That looks like Withers. Plummer on the dig. Gray will set up the middle. Goes Ajanaku. And she gets the point as the block fell just short. Listen, they're exchanging shots right now. Someone's got to start to break away. Let's see what the Cardinal can do. It heads back to serve. Ajanaku subs out the game for Fitzmorris. The Cardinal big up front. Hands on the serve. It's a good one. Struggle with Pizza Goal. Play at the net and Fitzmorris is there to push it down as it was a bit of an overpass from the back line. That's the difference right there. This is going to be a tight game. Trojans can't afford to make those little errors. Cardinal made him pay. Back to serve Hence again. The righty gets a good one down here. Garrick for Pizza Gola. They come near side for Lanier. The block is there. And that's Adriana Fitzmorris and Ivana Vanyak. Fantastic. Vanyak just subbed in. And she makes her presence known immediately, setting that huge block. She actually had three blocks last game and she is continuing her dominance tonight. Hence, back to serve again. Struggled with Vallesi, Pizza Gola was set. Far side for Lanier again, off the block. And it falls at the feet as Ivana Vanyak made a diving attempt to save it. And it fell just in front of her dive. Gotta close the holes, otherwise this Trojan offense will make him pay. This is a really deep team for USC, but they really don't play a lot. They have a short rotation as a lot of their players play sand as well and just stay in touch here. Gray, near side for Vanyak, her roll shot. USC trying to dig it out, and they end up three-balling it into the crowd as they were only able to throw a couple hands at it here and there. And the Cardinal are up 6-4 early on on this early weekend for some of us. All here. Right. Kelsey Humphreys at the serve. Humphreys back to serve. The senior gets a good one down here. Pizzagola will set near side for Withers. The block's there once again from Fitzmorris. Fantastic. Fitzmorris is coming in. It's really important for the middle blocker to establish herself, and it really starts to make the setter think twice about where she wants to set that ball. Fitzmorris has done so much this year offensively, defensively, just an all-around great player. Whittingham for Pizzagola. They go far side for Ford who checks in the game. Plummer gets a hand on it, overpass. Play at the net. Pizzagola will set from the back line, goes Lanier. And they get the point off the tip as the back line of Humphreys and Hens tried to block that one and that ball had a lot of heat on it. Lanier with her third kill already. As you mentioned, Jack, they set her away a lot. Off the serve from Ruddins, Hens with a dig. Gray sets near side for Fitzmorris, but there was the block. And in on that one wow. was Dunn, who just checked into the game. Jordan Dunn, the 6'4 junior middle blocker from Corona, California, getting in on that one. Plummer with a bad dig. Gray sets far side for Vonyak. Big swing, overpass, the Cardinal regain. Hence, for Gray up the middle goes Fitzmorris, and the block goes out of bounds, and the Cardinal pick up the eighth point. Great hustle play by Hentz. That was really important that she got that overpass, which allowed the offense to operate rather than just exchanging his lame tips. Really fantastic hustle play. Holland McKenna checks in the game to serve. Once again, four freshmen out on the court with the sophomore McKenna and the senior Humphreys. Good serve here straight to Lanier. Pizzagola will set near side for Withers. Off the block, play at the net. And SC tips it a little too far. That was done. He tried to get it down, but just kind of pushed it. A bit too far. Good touch by Plummer at the net. Just enough for Stanford to get a little lead going. And here they go, McKenna to Lanier. The Pizza Golo sets far side for Ford, who gets a big swing down on the outside. And for the Trojans, Lanier, Ford, and Abercrombie as well as Taylor Withers 
or the big part, Nikki Withers, I should say, a big part of the Trojan offense. Meyer Wally back in the game to serve as Pizzagola was sub out of the game. Meyer Wally from the far left corner. Gets it down for a service ace. You know, you gotta communicate as a team. Someone's gotta pick up that ball. You can't give away three points like that. Some miscommunication from the Cardinal back line, and it's now 9-8. Meyer Wally back to serve again. Same spot, sends this one way long, and that's the one that the Cardinal expected. Service error, and it's 10-8 as Inki Ajanaku will sub in. Her and Plummer up front have done so well this season. The Cardinal are gonna miss Inki Ajanaku next season as this is her fifth year. Didn't play at all last year with a horrific knee injury, but has bounced back to be one of the best players in the country. Meyer Wally sets from the back line, goes Lanier, and Adjarnaku will not get credit for the block, but you can tell she affected the shot as Lanier just went straight into the net. And Fitzmorris will go back to serve. It's 11-8. As Maples Pavilion is starting to fill out a little bit in the lower section. The freshman with a good serve here. Whittingham struggles. Meyer Wally sets for Dunn. And she gets the kill up the middle. Pretty impressive. Fitzmorris still got a pretty good serve for being that tall. So far, both teams kind of feeling each other out here on the first exchanging points. No team's really pulled away as Ford goes back to serve. Plummer for Gray, for Ajanaku. And they're going to give the point to the Cardinal. Oh, he got bailed out there. Plummer had a pretty weak pass, put Gray into the net. Cardinal yeah. lucky to take away that point. Ajanaku really struggled getting to that ball and couldn't get a good hand on it. And as you mentioned, the Cardinal getting away with a bit of an error on USC. Jenna Gray in the game to serve, straight to Ford. Meyer Wally sets near side, the push over from Abercrombie, saved by the Cardinal. Three ball in it over was McKenna. They set far side for Lanier, that's SC. And Kaylea Lanier sends it just long and out of bounds. You know, it's points like that that could be the difference. Stanford is able to hustle, and just like that, they forced SC into calling a timeout. 13-9, we just mentioned a little while ago, Jack, that no team was pulling away, but it looks like the Cardinal have sort of built that little bit of a lead that they need, and at four points, we don't really expect them to give that back too much. Jack, how about you talk about how the Cardinal have been doing lately and what's been their big success? Pretty loud here at Maples. Listen, I think something especially that the Cardinals do so well in relation to the Trojans is they distribute the ball. They get great passes from the defense in the Penna and the Libero heads, which allows Gray to distribute the ball. She had last game five hitters who averaged about 20 hits, as opposed to the Trojan offense, which is dominated by Lanier, who's a fantastic hitter, but she was set in combination with, uh, I believe it was Alyssa Ford, they had 90 sets combined. That's incredible for them to sustain and gonna be really hard to continue to jam it with just those two hitters. It'll get predictable and I think we can block that. That was the big word there that I was gonna mention. A bit of predictability from USC and for the Cardinal, they come into this game the number one team in blocks per set. And Adjonico comes in with number seven in the country in blocks per set herself. So this Cardinal team knows how to do it. Already with three blocks early on in the first as they get, are getting it done. For the Trojans, Khalil Lanier leading the way with three kills. She does have three hitting errors. For the Cardinal, Adjonico and Fitzmorris each have two. As a team, Stanford has seven with only one hitting error. The big turnaround for the Cardinal has been their hitting percentage which has improved drastically over the last five games. And it's really keyed this big run for the team that looks to make a deep tournament run with all the youth they have this year. Jenna Gray back to serve. Gets a good one down. Ford for Meyer Wally. They go up the middle and getting the kill was done. It's a good play at a timeout by the Trojans. The crowd here at Maples is kind of quieted down a little bit. The Trojan fans off to our right in the couple of first rows as Whittingham goes back to serve and she gets it down service ace as Hentz and McKenna sort of came together and looked at each other as the ball fell at their feet. 
And head coach John Dunning up to talk to the referee now. That's twice now the Cardinal have been beat by that deep serve. Let's see if they can fix it. Whittingham back to serve here. The righty gets a good one down McKenna for Gray. Far side plumber. Big swing, play at the net. The Cardinal regain Lutz. Hence, far side for Plummer, and she just miss hits it a ton. And it's now 13 13 as the Trojans have tied it. 13 12, they just gave them that point. As the Pac 12 ball girls are up to sweep a spot on the court. Lutz kind of fell right there trying to save it. 13-12, USC on a bit of a run themselves now with Whittingham controlling the service line. McKenna for Gray, near side Lutz. Big swing, Whittingham able to dig. Meyer Wally will set from the back line, goes forward. And she sends it, long hitting error, and the Cardinal get the there we go. crucial side out. That's just what the Cardinal need, give themselves the confidence back to take back this game. The Cardinal going away. big now up front with Lutz, Ajanaku, and Vonyak on the back line with Gray, hence and Plummer, who's back to serve from the near left corner, gets a good one down here. Lanier, Meyerwall, near side. And Abercrombie gets the kill as the block from Ajanaku and Vanyak fell out of bounds. Vanyak just needs to press her outside arm over the net, which forces the ball back into the court, and she'll get that block next time. Pizzagola and Ruddins check in the game for the Trojans. And Pizzagola goes back to serve now. The righty gets a good one down, Plummer. For Gray, up the middle goes Ajanaku, her roll shot dug out. Ruddins three balls it over, hence for Gray. From the far side goes Lutz, dug out by Withers. They set, and Ruddins gets a big kill up the middle. That's disappointing for the Cardinal, you can see it. They know they had that free ball opportunity and to give it up like that, not what they're looking for at this tight game. 14-14, pizza goal on the serve, Plummer. For Gray, near side Vonyak, big jump. Ford able to get a hand on it, Whittingham. And three bonded over Khalil Lanier, hence. For Gray, up the middle goes Ajanaku and she gets the kill. There we and go. that right there is just the Cardinals offense getting set up and that's what happens. Absolutely, a free ball pass by the Trojans. A great pass from head to Cardinal, took care of business. 15-14, Stanford regains the one point edge with Hens back to serve. Gets a good one down here, Ford for Pizza Gola. Goes running and she's wow. stuffed by Fitzmorris at the net. Adriana Fitzmorris, huge at the net. Fourth with a big block time block. Of this game for the Cardinal. That's Fitzmorris' third by herself, getting it done defensively. Hence back to serve again. Ford with a bad dig. Whittingham will set. Far side for Lanier off the block, hence able to dig. Gray sets near side for Vonyak, and she gets the kill on the cross court swing. Fantastic swing by Vonyak, came from a great set. She got out there, slammed it down for. And Vonyak really had to kill. rotate herself around the ball to get in position. Got a lot of air underneath her on that one, and got a good swing down. Ford for Pizza Gola, far side for Lanier. Hence able to dig it. Gray sets from the back line, goes Plummer, her roll shot, Whittingham able to dig. Pizza Gola will set, near side for Withers, blocked down, USC trying to regain. They're at the net, falls back to the Cardinal, Gray for Vonyak, off the block, able to dig it out, it was forward. Pizza Gola will set for Lanier, on the outside, she sends it long, and the Cardinal get the point off the rally. Wow, that's fantastic, that really shows the game right there, it's a battle of a point. Teams exchanging shots, but Stanford able to stay focused and win that point, forcing the Trojans to call another timeout. And with that being said, we're going to take our first break here on 90.1 FM. Once again, Jimmy Garcia alongside me, Jack Schoenfeld, and we will be right back with the rest of the first set here on 90.1 FM. Thanks for listening. For over two decades, our beloved Cardinal have dominated the collegiate athletics landscape. From Pac-12 conference matchups to bowl games and NCAA tournaments, KZSU has been right there with them like family. Stanford Athletics is a family you too can join and support. The Buck Cardinal Club was started in 1934 and it still continues to this day to support over 900 student athletes. 
by joining the Buck Cardinal Club, you can help them on and off the field and throughout the Stanford community. To find out more about the Buck Cardinal Club, go to buckcardinal.com. Your gift will help our athletes as we take on championships, bowl games, tournaments, and more. Thank you, and go Stanford! Back here on 90.1 FM, Jimmy Garcia alongside me, Jack Schoenfeld. The Cardinals are up 18-14 here in the first and are playing great volleyball and hitting with a good percentage. 333, nine kills, only two attack errors. So far, Stanford doing a good job. It's a really different tone in the two team huddles. You've got Coach Juddig with the Cardinal just telling his team to stay focused and close the set out. On the other hand, you got the Trojans who have called two timeouts in the last 10 points, trying to find a way to figure out the Stanford offense and turn things around. The Cardinal with, they play four of the six freshmen. Caitlin Keefe not playing as much this year, and her twin sister, Michaela is out with injury, but the three, Gray, Plummer, and Hens really play, have played every point so far. The serve is a good one. Pizza Golo was at far side for Withers, able to get to it was Hens. Gray sets near side for Vonyak, off the block, and the Cardinal get the point. Fantastic. Cardinal not letting the timeout mess up their momentum, coming right back out with a big kill. Vonyak with her fourth kill of the game is playing well as she struggled at times this season as Hens goes back to serve here. Ford struggles, Pizzagola was at far side for Withers. Plummer able to get to it, but it goes way out of bounds. And that's a tough play for someone at 6'6 from the back line, trying to dig a ball with a lot of heat on it. And she's really had to adjust her game, primarily an outside hitter in high school, and has had to play from the back line here. Plummer for Gray, up the middle goes Fitz Morris, and that was a big swing. And a big kill. Fantastic kill by Fitz Morris. Now we got Kelsey Humphreys coming in, settle the team down, lead the Cardinal offense to a first set win. Humphreys, who kind of lost her full-time setter role to Jenna Gray, has come in and played a lot of good defense and set the ball well. Pizzagola will set for Ford on the outside off the block, hence able to get to it. The struggle with the set, hitting it over was Fitzmorris. Pizzagola will set up the middle of the Trojans go dug out by hands. Great for Plummer on the back line. And she sends it just long. She got a good look at some court there, but unable to find it. Jimmy, you mentioned Kelsey Humphreys and lot, losing her spot to Jenny Gray, but a lot of respect for her as the captain, as the senior, not putting her head down and said she's a team player. She's still contributing on defense. A lot of respect for Humphreys. And Humphreys kind of knew that Gray would be taken over and really helped with that smooth transition. And it's really worked out well for the Cardinal. They won five straight games now and on a roll, hence for Gray. Far side, Vonyak, and she gets another kill. And Ivana Vonyak is playing great here in the first. Cardinal are running away with it now. 21-16, it's a five point lead. But if you just are joining us here on 90.1 FM, first set, women's volleyball, Jimmy Garcia alongside me, Jack Schoenfeld, and Hala McKenna back to serve, straight to Lanier. Pizza Golo will set near side for Withers. And she gets a big kill as the block was out of position for the Cardinal. The Trojans still have a lot left in the tank. They're not going to give up. It's important for the Stanford Cardinal to close out those blocks and close out the set. In the beginning part of the year, the Cardinals struggled closing teams out, but really picked it up and have just been taking it to their opponents. McKenna for Gray, near side plumber. Big swing from the 6'6 freshman on the outside. And wow. in subs, the finisher, Inky Ajanaku. And if you're the Cardinal, and really anyone in the nation, a player like Inky who can sub in at the end of a set and really just close the door. Fitzmorris back to serve. Takes a couple steps, gets a good one down here. Ford struggles. Meyer Wally will set back for Ford on the outside. Able to dig it out with Fitzmorris. Gray will set for Plummer near side play at the net. USC regains. Hitting it over was Lanier. Plummer for Gray. Pushes it over. And Jenna Gray gets a, her first kill of the night. That makes the setter happy when she gets that sneaky tip in there. She had the entire Trojan defense waiting for that 
Ikea John who kill. Gray has been such a smart player, only a freshman, and she's gonna be great here on the farm in the years to come. The set from the back line goes to Lanier, and she gets a big kill from the back line. And Fitzmorris couldn't control it. 23-18. Wow, that's a powerful back row attack from Lanier. The freshman coming in, showing the Cardinal what she's got. And back to serve from SC. The Trojans get it down. McKenna for Gray, near side Plummer. And it's a point to USC as the Cardinal hit straight into the net and ended up hitting it four times. And that was a good serve from Garrick who came into the game. Victoria Garrick, the defensive specialist at 5'10", the sophomore. The righty from the far right corner. Plummer with a bad dig. Gray able to get to it. Play at the net. Ajanaku able to push it down with her left hand nonetheless. Wow, that's really big. Again, another error from the Cardinal and they're getting away with it. Set point here in the first 24. And 19 with Gray back to serve. From the near right corner, the Cardinal with the tall, small lineup in there now. The serve is a good one. Lanier can't get to it, and the Cardinal take the first set off of a service ace from their impressive freshman setter. Stanford takes the first 25. Just like that. You know, I, I'm going to be honest. I'm not quite set on the Stanford team. It was a good win, but the Trojans were able to fight back a little bit too much. 25-19 doesn't feel good. Quite the dominant win that I'd like to see for the Stanford Cardinals just weeks away from the NCAA tournament. Stanford still taking the first set. They did struggle a little bit, but you have to credit USC as well. Khalil Lanier, an incredible player, most likely in the hunt for freshman of the year as she's just been totally dominant offensively as we see it here with her four kills in the first. With that being said, we're going to take a quick break here on 90.1 FM. When we come back, we'll get you first set analysis as well as the second set. Thanks for listening and we'll be right back. 